vibes. I hope everybody has had a great day. So I missed you guys. I have taken a few months off. But today we're going to be doing a few things. Um, just things in the house particularly. So I want to just do a little mini haul of a few things that I have purchased and would like to share with you guys. You know, I'm a plant mom. You already know I love plants. And so I want to give you a plant update because I have purchased um, actually three new plants. And um, I want to do a little story time about what happened because a few of my plants went into shock. <laughs> Fortunately, I think all of them are on the uptick now. So keep our fingers crossed about that. So let's jump right into it. First thing I would like to show you guys is these blue suede heels. They actually came from Aldo and they're from a few seasons ago. And so I know you're like, well, why are you showing me things from a few seasons ago and we can't buy it, right? It's important to know that trends come, go, and then come again. So when I have a particular shoe that I wear once or twice or never, I'm skeptical about getting rid of it because I know they will return. And so what has returned? The platform. Even though I see people um, never really steered away, the skinny heel, which is the heel I actually prefer, has been like highly, highly coveted this season. And definitely they're not slowing down for this spring because one of my favorite um, shoe brand by the name of Shoots the whole website is flooded with platforms. Just a fashion tip. Don't be quick when you like something and you purchase it and if it's still in excellent condition, don't just get rid of it because you think, oh, no, one's, no one is wearing it. Keep your items, especially if they're good quality because they will make a return and you will have them and be in season. Oh, two, just a little sidebar. So I'm back to my matte nails and matte nails i love them let me see if i can put a little closer matte nails i love them but we have a love dislike relationship it's like i loathe them sometimes because if they get a little stain if you're like out you can't just get it out you have to actually apply acetone to get the stain off and it comes off but i'm back to my matte nails i'm loving them and i probably am going to do matte for a while the blue shoe also, I, I think I told you that was from Aldo. But Aldo, Aldo. So this sh boot is my fave right now. So this came from my favorite brand, Shoots. If you know me, you know. Leather everywhere, including the heel. So why am I showing you boots in this almost spring? Two reasons. Because in spring, I still wear boots especially if I have on a cute dress sometimes with my jeans and a cute leather jacket it depends you know I live in Michigan so the weather does all types of things and you can actually wear boots every season especially when they're leather so these are the actual vibes here on these boots skinny heel so this heel is not really really skinny but it is it's skinny it is so it's four inch heel I forgot the name of this boot but why I'm showing you this in particular is because A, I've been getting my money's worth from this boot. I've actually been wearing this boot a lot. And I'm going to continue to wear it a lot. And this on the bottom, it's called a shoe gummy. So when you have a heel that um, is difficult to walk in because there's a deep arch and it actually hurts your feet and you're not able to walk in them for long periods of time shoe gummy helps to alleviate any pain or discomfort and it allows you to wear your shoes for an extended period of time with my shoe gummy i i actually can wear my shoe particularly all day so i would encourage everybody everybody to check out shoe gummy shoe gummy is actually owned um by a um black business the owner her name is Chantel Jackson and um, I've been following her brand for a long time and this is like my fifth pair of shoe gummies 
no this is not a sponsor but she can sponsor me but um this is like my fifth shoe gummy and i have them on any shoe that's usually um i feel that's going to give me a difficult time to walk um i always add in the shoe gummy because it just adds that extra layer of comfort and I think I'm going to start purchasing the shoe gummy actually for all of my shoes with the leather soles because a leather sole can actually wear I'm not going to say rather quickly but it preserves it so it won't get damaged and so um, I will link the shoe gummy website and actually I'll link this boot as well and like I said before I um, check out the shoots website shoots website actually um, to me is very very reasonable for the quality of shoe that you receive okay so one more glance guys next we're going to talk about my dress that I purchased from Banana Republic I actually love 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 Banana Republic it looks rather long but on it comes like right above my knee um, you know once my body get in it it um, shrinks a little bit <laughs> so anyway I will post the picture of me in this dress but more importantly um, this dress was regular price for reference this dress is a size medium all right, this dress was $140 and I got it on clearance for, I believe it was like 45 with a little discount like 42 And so I bought this beautiful color and I love the deal. I love the deal. I love Banana Republic um, quality of their items. I just love the stretch and the um, comfort. And it looks very chic and rich. And I'm all about that energy it's very pretty and so for $42 who can beat that and so let me come up close so you can see the detail but once again I will post a picture of me in this dress and I bought it in this neutral color I buy a lot of neutral colors and I also bought it in black if you know you know <laughs> what's understood don't need to be said definitely this is a medium and the other one is a medium as well and like I said here's the tag let's see what is the name of this dress serene sweater I don't know if that's the name of it but anyway I'll try to link it but once again this is great for the spring fall and winter if you know from day one when I started my YouTube channel that's one thing that I've always said I like to buy pieces that I can wear different seasons um, because you get more money that way you get more use out of your money even though the dress was like $42 if you can wear it three seasons and you're washing it properly it's going to last and you're going to get your money's worth that dress can be dressed up or down you can throw it on to go to the grocery store to the mall get your nails done you guys I promise this is not really a haul this is just it's just I haven't filmed in so long I just feel like oh let me show this let me show that and I've condensed things because it's a lot more that we will not see in this particular video vlog whatever you want to call it but I'm just bringing you guys up to speed as much as I can so if you know you know I love Old Navy so I needed some actual pants to just throw on for business meetings you know pants that I can just throw on with a blazer like this if it's summer I do have a all white blazer if it's you know fall or even if it's summer and it's a cold day I might want to pair it with a black blazer so I have these black pants that I purchased from Old Navy 
they're, they're they are a size 10 I actually wear a size 8 I have a pair in a size 8 and to me the 8 fits like a 6 I wear them but they're so snug it's just like I can't eat one thing in it not one thing I can't eat one thing in it not one thing so I said you know what I love my comfort I'm not doing it so I purchased a 10 and I can eat three th let me see three things in it <laughs> so the 10 works out well and so I actually wore a pair the other day and they're just like so bomb and they're stretchy they're comfortable but they're so sleek that's what I like about these pants and let me move back and as you can see if you can see as you can see, they're, um, what do you call it, skinny leg. I know people, I know that, I shouldn't say people, I know that the trend now is wide leg. But with my body type, with my body type, because I'm heavy on the bottom area, like thick thighs, you know, you know. So I don't want to bring any more t attention to my lower area. So, I purchased these old navy pants and a few different, like little, this little hound's tooth print. And as you can see, I can go back, let me hold them close, because this is the checkered print. And then, let's see, let's see. Let's see, where's the other one? Gray, just traditional gray. And um, like, I love these pants for the summer. And these pants were, wanna say like $20. They were like 40, but you know, I always wait till I get a sale with Old Navy. Rewind, rewind. I only buy when they put on sale not that the price is not worth it but I love a good deal so I will buy but I only buy when it's when they're on sale and that's really bad well, last but not least on the clothing tip I bought a trench coat by one of my favorite um, designers coach I bought a trench coat by one of my favorite designers, Coach. <laughs> and uh, one of my friends is like, Stephanie, this is trendy. You don't do trendy. We don't do trendy. I'm like, I did what needed to be done. This coat, it's like to me, the camera, social media, doesn't do it any justice. Can I put it on? I will link this coat. I will link this coat, but I just love it so much. It, it has actually, it actually has embedded C's in the back of it. And it's just so bomb on the sides. It's just a statement. You walk in with this coat, it's just a vibe. I love it. Um, I love the cotton content. One thing that I wish Coach would have done was made a removable liner. For the price of this coat, to me, it should have had a removable liner. So it could have been worn um, on lighter months more so than, it just limits the wearability of this coat because it doesn't have a removable liner and the liner is kind of heavy, but I love it. And I have a small, FYI, didn't know it, but Coach clothes run big. Well, and especially their coats. But <clears throat> this is a small. And let me see if I can get this print in there. Y'all see the seams? And let me show you the neck of the coat. Tell me this is not fire. I don't care what, I'm going forever love coach. 
coach reminds me of my childhood. It reminds me of class, sophistication, and I'm going to always wear it no matter what. I want to peruse through some things that I've been holding off on actually um, using, but I wanted to show you some things that I absolutely love. Maybe one item, maybe two, maybe two will be a repeat but the rest is new things that I'm actually um, interested in trying, things that I know will be bomb, but stay tuned. Um, if you don't know, I really love a subtle makeup look. I'm not really interested in the overly dramatic makeup look. Um, if I ever wanted that, I don't think I could execute it because I've never tried it. So I shouldn't say I can't, but I've never tried it. I think it's beautiful it's just not me it's not me so um, first I want to start off with the prolonged nourishing waterproof foundation with Mac and this is it I like how when I put it on it looks like it just looks flawless it's very light as well definitely into it if you have not tried the prolonged nourishing waterproof foundation with Mac I highly recommend it and next I want to go to the halo glow highlighter duo I might be late to the party but this is it definitely love it so you know if you don't know I love Ulta I shop Ulta because I love Ulta's return policy and um, so I shop Ulta a lot, the glow on this gold. I love to put it on the tip of my nose or my cheekbones. I already have high cheekbones and so I like to highlight my cheekbones with this gold. It's bomb, it's just very uh, illuminating, um, luxurious looking, subtle. It just, it's just the whole package all in one. I'm sure you can use this, it says a highlighter but I'm sure you can use it as an eyeshadow too. It's very, very pretty. And I like that it's actually buildable. And so the Smashbox, hey, I should have said that at first. It's by Smashbox. And I actually love uh, uh, Smashbox products. And so I'm definitely a fan. Um, and so if you have never tried the Smashbox Halo, get it because it's... It does what needs to be done. We have the Kylie Jenner lip lip kit. I love it. I had larger lips my entire life, and I love how I love the application. I love the lubrication. I love the finished matte down look. Um, definitely here for it. This one is called Exposed. I've never, I don't think I've tried Exposed before. Uh, Alta actually sent me the wrong one, but I don't have a problem with trying it because this would be a nice brunch, dinner. Um, it can be any for any occasion because it's really uh, neutral. And let me show you. And it goes well with my nails. A lot of my things are neutral. And I've always been that way. So this is something I've actually already tried out. And when I post my coach coat, you'll see. This is a MAC lipstick. And it's not matte. It actually has a light sheen. It's called... Love Me. Okay. And I really like it. If I don't have on a neutral lippy, I love to have a lippy that is a little vibrant, very pigmented, and that does the job. And I bought a couple of these. This is See Through by MAC, and this is the color. And I'm loving See Through because I can put it over my lipstick or I can wear it by itself, but it's just a nice little gloss. Let's see what else. Oh. 
so stuff that I've showed you before I'm definitely not going to spend a lot of time on because we've already discussed it but I want to let you know I am a repeat buyer <laughs> so we have the Anastasia brow whiz and I'm here for it and so I know um, the micro break the micro blading is in one of my associates do does the microblading but one thing she was concerned with me about is my skin my sensitivities um, for me it's a hard no because my skin is so sensitive I can't afford um, for you know the microblading to cause some type of issue I'm not saying anything is wrong with microblading I would love to do microblading it's just when you know your how your body type is, when you know that you have different allergies, um, you're allergic to this, you're allergic to that, you can't eat this, you can't eat that, you have all type of skin sensitivities, don't do it. The risk is not worth the reward in this sense, so I'm not doing it. But shout out to it, I love it, wish it could be me, it can't, and I'm fine with that. I'm definitely content with that until then well since that I will continue to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, brow whiz um, I don't even do the tinting um, because I just do a light brow I don't know if you can see here this is not my best brow but I just do a, I, this is not my best brow but I just do a light brow I don't do anything extra crazy yeah I'll do something more defined like when I'm going out um, when we're doing date night and things like that, I'll just be a little bit more precise, but no. Laura Marcier. We have the Laura Marcier, uh, what is it called? Translucent powder. I was drawing a blank, you guys. I've been using this for years. This is an OG. I'm sure you're well aware of everybody. Well, I shouldn't say that. I've been using this for years. I don't know if I talked about it on my channel or not but this is my favorite favorite finishing powder I do have it in this and the lighter color this color is called I think medium deep I do have it in the light as well and I actually have the highlighter version as well it doesn't miss it's very light gives you a flawless air a flawless air brush look and I'm always looking for something that leaves me, I'm always looking for something that leaves me polished. Definitely. And just like with any, oh my God, hold on. What is this? Oh, okay. Glow Play. I think I talked about this before. I loved it, so I ordered another one. I do love this MAC Glow Play. It's just a lip balm. Keeps your lips very moisturized. I just want to make sure I get everything. And I do have a lipstick called Le Femme. It sounds French. But when it came, I love it. But I'm thinking I have something similar. So I think I'm going to re-gift it. Look at this. It's very pretty. I have the perfect person that I'm going to re-gift it to. Um, it's past its return time. And they will give me a credit. But I have someone that I'm going to re-gift it to. Instead of returning it. But it's very pretty. It's just that I have like two lipsticks that I'm certain. That is just like that one. Um, and that they're from MAC. It may be a tint, just a pigment off, just one a centimeter off, but it's not worth for me to use it. I would rather just re-gift it as a gift. Video Power from MAC. And this is the Blush Baby. I don't know if I have Blush Baby or not. I love a pink blush. I don't have one any right now, but I do have very high cheekbones, and so I kind of like to highlight that with a blush. And I like the blush to be very subtle. I have done a replacement. This hair beauty, it's called a Peace Lily. 
I had a peace lily sitting in another spot. I will let you know the spot in a second. But this is the new peace lily that I just purchased from, from English Gardens. I think it was like 38 bucks. But this is it. It's um pretty tall. Very luscious. Very luxurious. Just a beautiful piece of art. I really encourage you to purchase plants. Really enhance your mood. Make you feel better. They're a lot of work not going to just say that it's easy peasy but it to me is a uh, fulfilling when i'm working and watering and removing leaves that are not desirable it doesn't make me feel like oh this is just overwhelming it's really really tranquil so i really would encourage you to invest in a plant and always check the clearance section the clearance section is really really helpful and next to this is the Z plant. So I purchased this Z plant. Let me, let me see, what was this? No, the Z plant I moved from off of my dining room table and I placed it over here, but I kind of done a rearrangement. And so that's why I was getting, getting a little confused. This is called a silver something. I don't know what it's called, um, but they had a fuller one at English Gardens, but I didn't want to get anything bigger for on this actual table. So I we had a power outage here in Michigan and it affected my plants severely. All of my plants recovered, but to me, the peace lily that was sitting here did not. So I placed this plant here because this plant also took a uh, setback. And I had to remove uh, several leaves off of this plant, but it's doing really well. It's gotten rather big. It's time for it to be repotted, but this is the spot and I'm gonna leave it here and just let it grow. I'm gonna make sure it gets repotted and fertilized. And I might even take it outside for a spell to, so it can get bigger, but I don't want it to outgrow this area. Next, this is the new little baby from English Garden. So this is the Z plant, but they call this the, um, what did they call this? It was like a special edition because it's black. There's a few green leaves on this, but the leaves on this particular plant is black. And as you can see, I'm looking for the tag because I left it in here to read it to you guys. It says uh, trending tropicals collection. Collect, create, inspire. Wait a minute. New varieties released throughout the year. Collection of unique plants, hand selected by a team of planters, plant hunters from around the world. So, this particular plant is unusual because it's black. And I just love how it looks over in this area. Very sleek. And so I purchased this for this area. There was another money tree over here, but I knew the money tree wasn't going to do well because the money tree needs more light. This Z plant is a low light plant. It's like a rubber plant. And let's see what it says. Uh, not, not for animals. It doesn't say, but I know it doesn't take a lot of light. So that's my point. So if you are a new plant mom and you're interested in a plant, the Z plant is first of all, very, very beautiful in appearance, but it does not require a lot of light. And so I would definitely recommend, I call it the Z plant, but it doesn't even say the proper name. But if you say the Z plant at any, um, greenery store plant store gardening center if they know anything about plants they'll know exactly what i'm speaking about so this is not new this is the snake plant not new but i changed the setting before i had the actual largest z plant that's in my living room here on this table here I moved it because when we have dinner parties, I like to be able to see our guests and when we're sitting down to be able to talk, interact. This plant is just elegant. It sits here perfectly, but it doesn't block the view when you're speaking to another individual, see? 
it doesn't block the view and so that's why I moved this plant here and you already know the plant baby over there this plant was in distress during the outage but it bounced back like a champ I was like yes because this plant is one of my favorites you guys this cheese plant is doing very well listen I did not know if this one was going to make it the cheese plant here or I didn't know if this one was going to make it either I was highly concerned this one was so limped over when the power returned I had to place sticks in this to make sure that you know to try to save it I wanted to literally cry but one thing about creation about the creation from nature resilient these plants are so resilient you know the power outage <clears throat> really helped me to see some things about nature it's the revitalization process very very encouraging I was so happy that my plants bounced back I've had this plant since 2019 as well it's growing so tall right so just FYI I don't know the name of this plant but I've had it I bought this plant um, speaking of this one here when I didn't know anything about plants and that's like let me turn on the light that's like you know one of my pilot plants and it's so tall look it's so tall it's you know soon will be you know in the area of my uh, planter at the top not my planter what did I say planter at uh, my shade my Roman shade but like I'm so enthused with this actual plant so moral of the story um, I love this plant all right y'all so before I had two plants in the kitchen now I'm just ha I just have the Z plant and I purchased the Z plant from um, English Gardens the other day and I love it it's just so eloquent and that's why I purchased it so now we're in my office it's not totally done it's about I would say 40% complete but I want to show you the progress because I'm so proud I'm proud of myself um design really helps me to be able to do something that I love I've always loved home decor but I can really pour into it so let's begin okay so <clears throat> these drapes before I will insert a before picture and there were different drapes now I've placed uh, some taupey color velvet drapes. I've actually purchased these drapes from Amazon. They were very, very economical and love them so much. Very rich looking, love it. This chair is an oversized chair. I love sitting in it, so cozy. The chair hugs you. This chair came from Wayfair. Um, actually I didn't I will link the chair I'm not gonna get into it but it was one of my freebies from Wayfair everything by the way um, this is a wool blanket that I purchased from home goods maybe about two years ago and I actually love it it's floated from downstairs in my kitchen nook where I warm up in it to up here to my office where I warm up in it this will float throughout my house forever and eternity <laughs> this blanket is so bomb right this table um, is a Wayfair um, gift that I had to review again and I still can link it though they still have this stuff available and I love 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 the soft clothes on this so you open it look at that look at that butter okay so this lamp also came from Wayfair it's a little mushroom lamp so cute just very luxurious hotel vibes you know and I think I really executed that and I love this lamp I love mixing metals I love um, just everything about being able to have different shapes um 
to have different layers of light. I'm not done by any stretch of, of the imagination. Plant baby. So this is the actual plant that was in my living room. I moved it here. Oh, this plant, I'm surprised it's still alive. During the power outage, I promise you. This one here, I had to chop. Look, look at this. Look at this. But I put it here because it gets great indirect light. I'm going to baby it, baby it, and baby it. And hopefully it flourishes so well. This one was downstairs as well. It was like looking rough. But this one has really came back. I brought it up here um, to baby it, baby it, and baby it some more. Um, but these two, they're the babies of the bunch. No lie, no faking. So these two plants I will have, well, not really here. I probably would have to water this one once a week, once every seven to eight days, probably every seven days. This one here, um, now that it's going to get warmer, maybe every five days. This one here has, I have to check on this one every two days because this one is just drama. But I'm up for the task. I'm going to see if I can save it. It takes indirect light, so this should be a great place because bedrooms, offices, living rooms are good places for this plant. So y'all, this is my second office here. I'm here for it. So this chair I recently got from Wayfair. I will link the other chair that I had. The other chair had a gold bottom. I have a glass base here. Um. It just protects the carpet because I don't want the carpet. The carpet is very, very plushy. Very, the cushion under it, you will literally sink. You will literally sink it. So I did not want to damage that. So I was reading that the glass will help. I move the glass. I vacuum the glass. But that's that. This chair came from Wayfair. I would link it. I think it was like $130. But once again, this was another free gift. So this is my desk. Shout out to Dave Chanel. <laughs> so my friend Dave helped. Well, I'm not going to say she helped. She practically assembled this desk. I, you know, am not mechanical by any stretch of the imagination. But this is the desk. And it's like 60 inches. I love the modern look. All of the little cubbies. It's just a vibe, okay? Let me back back. So, let me back back. So, bum. Okay, this is everything. Once again, my drapes. This room has two windows. Very light room, just very uplifting room. Love it. Under my desk, I have this little footstool thingy. From my understanding, this is from Wayfair, but also they this has like been a TikTok sensation chair. This chair was very economical. It was like I want to say like under 150. And moral of the story, it's so comfortable. I got rid of my other chair. I'm at the point it has to be comfortable. If it hurts my back, hurts anything, gotta go. So this chair, so economical. Just straight bond. Okay. So, I will definitely link this chair. It leans back. All of that. It's like so bomb. Okay. So, over here, I just have my stand-up mirrors. You know I love mirrors. I want more mirrors in this room. I want more mirrors. I want another plant in this room. Like, I don't have enough plants. Guess what? Don't judge me. I love plants. I love the way they make me feel, even though they're work and I complain about watering them. It's going to get done. <laughs> So this is the snake plant. I brought this from another room. It's not the same one that is from my living room. My living room plant, I can't move ever because it's so big it will break my back. And I got that plant from a dear friend and that plant will always stay on display. There. This plant is a snake plant from another room. Love it. Okay. Let me scoot up here. 
this is my trash can you know I'm extra you already know this is a marble trash can it is from Wayfair what's in here oh I love ginger some ginger packs and a haul pack but it's just so luxurious right it's like I don't know like 50 pounds who needs a trash can that that heavy me so this is my trash can so this is my upstairs office so far definitely not done this lamp is just here temporarily I like the lamp but I like it better outside on my Florida room it's just serving the purpose for now I have another lamp in mind stay tuned this lighting fixture I don't even have all of the bulbs gotta go it served its purpose for the last couple months I'm just needing um, an electrician to come and put up my new light and fixture which is a whole vibe it's gonna change the whole mood can't wait till you see what I have in store for this place here stay tuned and the other side of the room so this room is definitely a nice size but that is the update night you ignore your mom night night hey sweetie hey sweetie hey sweetie hey sweetie say hi Say hi, sweetie. Nate! Alright. That's my cue. To take care of the little baby. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> They're my sweetie.